Hi all, welcome back to Dr. Cordes Medical Coding Classes. So today I am here with a CPT video from Surgery Section, Musculoskeletal System Chapter. So I will be discussing two topics in this video. So before going to the two topics, I need all of you to understand what are these uh, vertebral columns and what are vertebrae. Okay, so here the picture given here is the human vertebral column. Uh, and we know vertebral column has vertebrae. So the vertebral column is divided as cervical vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, lumbar vertebrae, sacrum and coccyx. Okay, so in this figure it is clearly given the cervical vertebrae it is 7 in number. It is named as C1 to C7. Okay, so if you have a question and uh, where you have a fracture of C1 means it is the fracture of first cervical vertebrae. C2 is second cervical vertebrae. C3 is third cervical vertebrae and so on. Okay. The next one, thoracic vertebrae. They are 12 in number T1 to T12. Okay. Then the next one is lumbar vertebrae. They are 5 in number L1 to L5. Okay. Then the next one, sacrum. They are 5 in number but they used to be fused. Similar is the case of coccyx also. They are 4 in number. They used to be fused. Okay, so if you get a question that uh, fracture in T4 means it is the fracture of fourth thoracic vertebrae. Okay, then next you have two terms vertebral segment and vertebral interspace. This you need to understand before going to the uh, codes. Okay, the first one is vertebral segment. What is vertebral segment? Each vertebral bone of the vertebral column is called a vertebral segment. For example, C1 is a vertebral segment. C2 is another vertebral segment, C3 is another vertebral segment, like that. Okay, then what is vertebral interspace? It is the non bony compartment between two vertebral segments. That is, it is the space between two vertebral bonds, vertebral segments. Okay, that is, between C1 and C2, you have one vertebral interspace. And uh, between C3 and C4, you have two, uh, sorry, one intervertebral space. Okay, between C1 to C3, you have two intervertebral space, vertebral interspace, that is C1 to C2 and C2 to C3. Okay, let's see a few examples. C1 to C5. What all are the vertebral segments? The vertebral segments are C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. Five segments. Okay, then what are the interspace? C1 to C2. C2 to C3, C3 to C4, C4 to C5. Four interspace. Okay. Similarly, T2 to T5. Segments include T2, T3, T4 and T5. Four segments. Then the interspace include T1 to T2, T2 to T3 and T3 to T4. Three interspace. Then L5 to S1, we have two segments. L5 and S1. Then interspace is L5 to S1, single interspace. Hope that is clear. Now we will come to the topic arthrodesis. So what is desis means? Desis is fusion. Okay. So arthrodesis it is the uh, process of fusion of bonds. Okay. Uh, for example in conditions like a degenerative disc disease or a fracture. In order to stabilize the bonds first you, we have to fuse it. That fusion is called arthrodesis. Okay. So whenever we, we get a question of arthrodesis, what how to pick code is first one is identify the approach or technique used for arthrodesis. Okay, we have different techniques like anterior technique, posterior technique, like that. Okay, so we want to identify what approach is given in the question. This is very important because in, in options, whenever we, we need to uh, look in the terms of options, right? Because we want to write the CPC exam. So for the CPC exams, whenever you get four options, you can see uh, if the question is anterior approach, you will have at least one option with the posterior approach. So you can eliminate that if you identify the approach. Okay, so first you have to identify the approach. Next one is identify the bonds involved. That is, if it is a cervical vertebrae or it is a thoracic or if it is a lumbar or sacral, that you have to identify. Then you have to identify number of interspace. How to identify interspace? I have discussed in the previous slide. Then we will see some example. Posterior arthrodesis L5 to S1 for degenerative disc disease. Here what is the approach? It is a posterior approach. 
then what is the bonds involved l5 to s1 l so lumbar and sacral l5 to s1 the interspace is one interspace okay now the code is you can go and search the code the code is 22612 okay then another one anterior arthrodes is l2 to l4 so here the approach is anterior then arthrodes is the bonds involved is lumbar the interspace is two interspace l2 to l3 and l3 to l4 okay so the option is 225584 first interspace and for each additional interspace 22585 okay and one additional guideline add modifier 51 when arthrodesis is combined with another definitive procedure that is when an arthrodesis is performed along with that another definitive procedure like uh, uh, vertebral colpectomy or uh, osteotomy or laminectomy then you have to uh, give modifier 51 and there is an exception bracket except on add on codes what is add on codes add on codes are indicated with the plus signs no in if if a modifier 51 is given to this plus sign codes that is add on codes means that is wrong you cannot give modifier 51 to add on codes okay so in the uh, in the exam you get a question where there is an arthrodesis and a vertebral colpectomy is performed but the modifier 51 is on the add on code means you can eliminate that option okay next one is spinal instrumentation what is spinal instrumentation after arthrodesis in order to stabilize the bone or in order to fix it some devices or implants are inserted that is called instrumentation or spinal instrumentation okay there are of two types non segmental instrumentation as well as segmental instrumentation non segmental instrumentation means the instruments the devices are attached only at the two points in the spine okay segmental instrumentation means attachment is given at each point okay next one is how to pick code so first you have to identify which type of instrumentation that is if it is anterior or posterior instrumentation then you have to identify if it is segmental or non segmental then you have to identify number of segments in your uh, uh, how many vertebral segments are involved okay for instrumentation it is always the number of segments not the vertebral space okay then one additional guideline is there do not append modifier 62 to spinal instrumentation codes what is modifier 62 modifier 62 can be given when two surgeons perform distinct procedures like right so this modifier 62 cannot be given to spinal instrumentation codes that you have to keep in mind now we will see an example anterior instrumentation l1 to l3 so first you want to identify if it is anterior or posterior in the question it is given as anterior then the uh, segmental or non segmental not given then the vertebrae involved is lumbar and the number of segments from l1 to l3 is three segment l1 l2 l3 right so the code is 22845 anterior instrumentation 223 vertebral segments since here it is three vertebral segments the answer is 22845 Okay, so hope arthrodesis and instrumentation is clear for you. Uh, we will get a question. Definitely, we will get a question uh, from this topic for the CPG exam. There will be also an additional arthrodesis, instrumentation, and bone grafting will be there. Combined, all three procedures will be there in the same single question. So you need to take the arthrodesis code, instrumentation code, and then also graft code also will be there. Okay, graft. There are of two types of grafts usually for bone graft. Uh, autograft and allograft if it is allograft again it have structural and the morselized allograft so if graft is given mention means you need to identify the type of graft and code accordingly okay thank you